You thought uh, that uh, she was going to be a boy, didn't you? I was adamant that she was going to be a boy and everyone was saying to me, it's a boy, I had a boy bump and um, everyone was like, you're definitely having a boy. So I was so shocked when she come out and she was a she. Oh. But I, there, was a few, there was a few seconds like when, you know, you give birth and, and Sunday was on my chest and I didn't even ask. Do you know what I mean? It was, I was just so overwhelmed and shocked. She was just here and she was safe. Because you, cause your labour, so your hindwaters broke, so that's your yes. backwaters, so you were kind of, you, that was obviously a bit concerning. And they wanted to induce you because they thought, oh, we, maybe we should get her out. But you really wanted to have a natural labour, so you went back home and sort of persevered. That's it. I put my foot down with this because, um, as you said, my hindwaters went... I had the leaking like a, um, a week leaking up. And you have to be careful with infection then, Exactly. Don't you? And the hospital, is, they're like really keen to induce you after 24 hours. But I just, that wasn't part of the plan. I didn't want that. So I went home and like done everything in my power to bring on the labour. I went for a massive hike with my mum. Curry? I didn't do that because it was like morning and I thought it might be a bit much Fair having enough. a curry. <laughs> I was like bouncing on the ball and then it happened naturally. You did it. Yeah, I did and it. And why Sunday? <gasps> okay, so obviously whatever I was going to call her, I think people are inevitably going to have their opinion. I wasn't going to go with the traditional name, was I? Let's have it right. And <laughs> I just loved... From the beginning, I loved Sunday. There was, there's like a face cleanser with that name. I know it sounds ridiculous. Named after a face cleanser. Named her after a face cleanser. But I just loved the sound. Thank goodness it you weren't using Domestos. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And um, I just loved the tone to it. And then I got obsessed with um, Big Little Lies with Nicole Kidman in the yeah. summer. I was uh, obsessed yeah. with it. And then started ID. I googling her and then saw that she had a daughter called Sunday. I thought, I just love it. Yeah. So, and what's the middle name? Because you've never said this okay, out loud. Okay, so a little exclusive for you guys. It's Sky, Sunday Sky. Oh, oh that's yeah. so lovely. That's yeah. so, and you were loving being mum, because you did say during your pregnancy that you weren't sure how well you were going to bond with a baby. You didn't know, because you'd never been a mum yeah. before. This was a concern of mine. I felt like, imagine if, if my baby arrives and I don't, feel that connection because everyone speaks about this unconditional gush of love imagine if i didn't have that i think it's like a natural concern i don't know maybe it's just me no, but I think, um, I think a lot of women have that concern it's just it's yeah that, you don't know do you no exactly but as soon as she arrived and every minute that I, I i spend with her the love just grows so much and i think with me this year it wasn't part of the plan to have a baby but you can't plan life do you know so yeah. it it just happened and I wasn't the most maternal person, but now I feel so maternal mm. and I'm just so in love with her. She's well, perfect. she has come at, uh, at the perfect time, really, because this has been a tough mm. old year, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. And I think that's the thing for me. There was always, like, light at the end of the tunnel. It was, you know, I can't lie, it has been a turbulent seven months for me. But for me, it was, you know... Sh I, I had something to look forward to. So yeah. that was yeah. my focus. I could always focus on that I'm pregnant and I'm going to have, you know, welcome Sunday into my life. And also, because I, mean, I think we were all a bit concerned about you at the beginning because you don't want that sort of, when you're pregnant, the stress of all of that mm. as well, I think. Because... I think for me, because I was pregnant, that I could separate the two. So I was like, no, I need to focus on on keeping healthy and not being stressed. And by doing that, I was just surrounding myself by friends and family, keeping busy. I kept on working. Mm. So, yeah. Shall we meet her? <gasps> Let's We'd meet love her. to. I can't believe this oh, is a day of mom? surprises today. Hi, Mum. Sunday. Oh, oh, yeah. she's got her eyes open. She's, she's away. Oh, she is so cute. Here is this is. your first grandchild? Second. Oh, your second, second grandchild. Oh, the last granddaughter. Oh. Here she is. There you she are. Is. Do you want a cuddle? Uh, yes, obviously. Oh, I'm oh, so happy she's got her eyes open to me. Hello, darling. Let's show you to the world. Here's and what's she like? Singing. Is she good? Is she sleeping? Do you know what? I know... Like, do you think you can tell baby's personality at one month? I'm not sure. She's very calm. She's really calm. She makes me really calm. Does she? She's Have made you... me so serene. Really? Honestly, who would have thought? this lovely story about when she came along and then you, you just thanked your mum because you realised, like, <sighs> that role as a mum that suddenly... I you actually, give... I actually apologised to my mum and I said, I yeah. can't believe... I I'm so sorry for being such a, like tricky teenager. Really? <laughs> because it, it, now it I'm a mum. It took those moments for you to realise what you've been like. Absolutely. I was like, oh. everything that I'm doing for her, 
not with me. My mum done that for me, and you don't think of that when you're a teenager. Mm. Oh, no. Is she? Do you think she's hungry? Uh, no, I don't think she's hungry. I think she wants to. She's like, oh, she's not allowed to cry. Hey. It's against the law to cry, isn't it? Not on Christmas. You've got to be happy. And you don't. You say that that, that, um, that you are a first time mum. You don't like the term single. Yes. Mum. So no, I just don't like the term single oh, mum because I don't feel like oh, I should be labelled. Do you know what I mean? I'm a new time, first time mum. Just like any other mum in whatever situation they are, whether they are in a relationship, whether they're same-sex couple, whatever situation, you're, I'm a first-time mum. And I just feel like it can have like a negative mm. connotation to it. So I'm not keen on it.